Hello, Rip and Chip community. Do I have something fun to share with you today? We're talking about the big chase poles from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. My name is Lance Cawthorn. I'm the Rip and Chip host here at Rip and Chip by Moonshot. We opened up a bunch of collector boxes, 132 to be exact. I'm not going to hide it. Y'all can do the math of Outlaws of Thunder Junction. I uh, want to talk about the pull rates and examine these beautiful cards that we pulled for our customers. These were all pre-sales. They do not ship until pre-release day, April 12th. Very important to note. So as I mentioned, we opened 132 collector boxes. These were the rarest. There are five of these big score gilded foil raised mythics. It's the same treatment from Streets of New Capenna. Um, these had a 0.44% pull rate. We pulled one Vault Born Tyrant. You can see the gilded foil. We're not taking these out of top loaders because they belong to customers. Uh, got the raised gold foil around the borders here on these circles over here. They're super cool looking. We got one of the Vault Born Tyrant. We got one Loot, the key to everything. Beautiful cards, chat. Super hard to pull. We got one Lotus Ring. These are very, very hard pulls to get. We got two of the Sword of Wealth and Powers here. So there is the first one. You get the idea. There's the second. And then two Tarnation Vistas. So uh, those are the only five Mythics out of the big score. These do come in regular foil too, not just the raised foil, but the raised foil are super hard chase. 0.44% of the collector packs I pulled. Of course, none of that is really statistically significant. We didn't open nearly enough product. And then these are all the uh, textured cards we got. I believe there are 21 of these. We pulled 12 of the 15 textured cards. All 15 breaking news mythics from the bonus sheet um, have a textured variant. So if you look at them, they look pretty cool like normal art head on. But when you look at them in the right lighting and the right angle, you can see all the texture. Um, stay tuned to the end i'm actually going to take one of these out of the top loader a customer bought me a pack and i pulled one of these for myself um so we're going to take a look at those so we got 12 of the 15 we did not get mana drain we did not get indomitable creativity and we did not get contagion engine but we got multiples of some others so here's leyline binding here's mind break trap looking pretty sick in that textured foil got two of the mind break traps actually overwhelming forces reprint from uh portal three kingdoms Got two of those. Dotsies. Pretty sick looking art. Man, these textures, they hit different chat. They're beautiful. We got, I think, two of those as well. We got a crackle with power. There's all that texture. The black on the uh on the race foils, kind or textured foils reminds me of that oil slick from uh Outlaws. We got three of the Force of Vigors. This is uh one of the ones that I got personally, or the one I got when a customer uh got a pack for me. So there you go. There's texture on that. Uh, we got two here's mine so i'm going to set this aside we're going to take that out of the top loader so you can see it at the end so roughly a 1.3 1.32 pull rate on these let's keep going through these we got anguished on making this is one of my favorites looks so cool and textured uh here's the only split card we got crime punishment looking pretty sick there colors look insane we got a couple of the uh fractured identities Trying to get the texture layer to show off there. There you go. Uh, got two of those. We got three Okos. That's pretty wild. The Thief of Crowns. Uh, if you didn't realize that Oko had textured abs before, definitely has textured abs now. So we got three of those. Uh, and then we got Grindstones. And uh, chat, don't worry. We know whose cards are whose. I have name cards taped to the back of these top loaders. We'll not damage the cards. And we're going to get these in team bags right after this. Trying to get that. There we go. There's the grindstone texture. Super cool. We got three of those too. Uh, and then the last one, I think this art personally hits the hardest. Got the mind slaver. It just looks so cool. Try to find that perfect angle so you can see all the texture. This one's a little harder. There we maybe. There we go. Pretty cool. Very cool texture. These things look insane. And then here is the one that personally belongs to me so that's how you can tell i keep them straight because they have the name cards on them i'm going to take this out so y'all get a look at it if you enjoy these types of videos make sure to like and subscribe to the channel um we live stream monday and thursday 8 30 eastern and saturdays with queen honey i'm going to take this all the way out of the sleeve so y'all can see it these look amazing in person so there you get a really good look at the gloss on those black parts and then here is the texture if we can find the perfect angle again the lighting is really tough in the studio but uh man these look so cool so these are the chases 1.32 percent pull rate on these uh textured foils 
0.44% pull rate on the raised foil mythics from the big score. Hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next one.